I'm Jeff Shiver, Managing Principal People and Processes. Oftentimes we get asked questions around hiring a new planner. And one of the, one of the common mistakes I see organizations make is with regards when they post the planning position itself, what they do is they go out and post the position at some level of pay that doesn't take into account technicians' current overtime. And companies say, well, you really can't count the overtime. Well, we're trying to take positions and we're, we're trying to encourage a, a feeder process where we're taking technicians, ideally your best craftsperson, and putting them into a planner role where they can help the other technicians succeed and drive increased range time. So to do that, we really want an internal process as opposed to hiring from the outside in most cases. So if we don't, if we don't at least make the pay that the technicians are currently earning, there's no way in the world that they're going to apply for the job in most cases. There are always some exceptions. A guy wants to get off grave shift and come on to day shift or something like that. But reality is, is we've got to match the pay. Pay becomes one of the most important components of the planner piece. So when you're posting the position, be sure that you can't factor in components like overtime and other things when you're putting the pay in to the position itself. Hope it helps you. Jeff Shiver, People and Processes. Have a great day.